All right, this one's going to be another bug fix. So the issue being, for instance, if I buy the STG that's in full auto and I hold down the trigger and then switch weapons and then release the trigger, it will continue firing and it uh, won't have any weapon in hand, like so. So now I'm going to the trigger entirely and just empties out the mag and then switches. So that's only with full auto, because I think I haven't tested with anything else. I'll down left click. Alright, so yeah, it's just with the uh, full auto. So that's what we're going to fix on. If we head over to our weapon full.cpp, we have a variable here called B is firing. We head over to uh, weapon base.h, I think it only exists in the full auto class. Yeah, we have B can fire and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the weapon full.h. Over here we have our B is firing. Okay, that's replicated. So what I want to do is actually create a function here under weapon base dot h. Going to be public. I'm going to make it down here. It's going to be let's see, virtual void is firing. I guess. And I'm just going to simply actually make it return false by default. Actually, virtual bool, sorry. So in the weapon base at h, by default, it's going to be false. Then I want to take this, go over to weapon forward at h, public section, virtual void is firing, <clears throat> override, and I want to make it return b is firing. That's our control variable for full auto. So then I'm going to go to Nazi Zombie Character.cpp. Uh, where's our? Here's our. Okay, so that would actually be in our our character base.cpp. Go to our inputs. Minimize or did I just miss it? Nope. Alright, so switch next weapon and switch previous. Those were yep, these two here. So what I want to do is if current weapon, I want to do if current weapon is firing, I'm just simply going to return because I don't want to switch. And same thing for uh, switch previous weapon, like so. And then compile. So this will make it hopefully so if we are firing, um, we will not, oh, what do you call it, be able to switch the weapon. As so, well, actually, I think, when we fire, yeah, okay, so that just gave me another idea. So I want to confirm that this works. And then I will attempt something else with it. So that'll make it so uh, the fire rate has a play in how we can switch the weapons. So for example, we shoot the M1 carbine, we won't be able to switch the weapon until we've been, well, until it's like been fully, I guess after the shot, uh, that little shot control that we have for the delay is finished with our uh, with the timer. See what happens. Yep, I cannot switch until I'm done. Yep, and I'm still holding down the left mouse, so it just waits for it uh yeah to stop firing. So that works. So now back in our weapon base at CPP, uh, we can go to our weapon base H actually. I'm going to create a private section here. I'm going to create a boolean. So bool B is firing. This one's it's private, so it's only going to be uh, known to weapon base.h, not our weapon full. 
in our constructor, we're going to do b is firing you will e yeah, equals false. Then we head down to our fire function right here. We're going to do here, b can fire. We're going to do b is firing equals true. And at the end of that, we trigger our timer, calls control fire delay that function, which is right here. In which case we set B is firing equals false. So that should give us a little um a little delay. So when we shoot we cannot switch to you know another gun immediately. We have to wait till it's fully uh well the shot's over with I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you'll see what I mean here in a second. All right. Give it a try. So we're going to shoot and switch. Actually, it would probably help if I had a, uh, another gun. <laughs> So shoot. Alrighty, that did not work at all, and I know why. <laughs> so weapon base dot h. Go down to this is firing where we return false. We need to return b is firing, because I'm an idiot. So now, hopefully, it should work. I guess I just gotta spam the scroll wheel while trying to fire to test, I guess. I don't know. Spam it and fire. Well, I'm out of ammo on both, so I can switch now. But yeah. It uh, does not allow you to switch to your next, well, to your other gun until uh, you are, you know, finished firing. So I shoot and I switch. And it takes that little bit. So if I spam scroll wheel, that kind of thing. So that is uh, working as intended. I'm happy with that. So, we now have a uh, yeah, two things fixed and good to go. So, as usual, I can't remember, well, I don't really have anything planned for the next one. I just kind of figure out something that needs to be fixed or worked on and we just go from there. So, I don't know if the next video is going to be another bug fix like I've been doing or a feature. Regardless, if you want to support me, a link to my Patreon's in the description or if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to join my Discord server and ask them. And as always, I will see you in the next video.